Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix and how to avoid the red arrow screen in Final Cut. But a few weeks ago I was traveling and I had to make a quick video on the go using my MacBook Pro. I've done everything as usual, more or less, and all my original videos were stored inside my external SSD drive together with my Final Cut library and project. Then when I was at the office a couple of days ago, I had to make a quick edit to the clips. So I opened the library file using my iMac and there it is, the red arrow screen. Although there was something strange there because I could see my videos, my clips were, were there in the timeline. They're showing fine, they, they look like they're in the right place. But still, I went on and decided to check if there were some, file, uh, some files missing. So I went to file, Relink files, and usually you have a bunch of missing files there and the option to uh, locate them all and, and relink them, but nothing was really showing up in that, in that panel. So I started fiddling with my file and I, I thought, let's try to delete my uh, layers, uh, which I use for my color grading and my exposure correction, and my video was there. Just, you know, I lost all my color grading and my exposure correction, which obviously took some valuable time. And I realized that I've missed a, a very important step when I was setting up this, this project. If that happens to you, and basically all, all your media files uh, are in the right place, they're not missing, just have a look and check that uh, nothing has changed in your motion templates folder which is stored locally or on your Mac or if like me you have used another computer to create that library and project just go back to that computer and follow my steps so let's open this file on my MacBook this time now inside your Final Cut library let's go ahead and change a couple of settings first of all go into your storage locations and modify the settings and make sure that motion content is stored in the library and not locally on your computer. Press OK. And then the next step would be to again bring up that panel and consolidate your motion content in the library. And that's it, really. That's all you need to do to make sure that you can happily move your Final Cut library from one computer to the next without having to worry about your effects and titles and whether they are installed locally on that machine. This is a very simple solution to a very simple problem and I'm sure that many of you already knew how to go around this. But if this video was helpful, please press like and perhaps think about subscribing to my channel. I am uh, fairly new to YouTube but I'll be posting more and more content in the future. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Bye now.